Hello, as you can see, things are a little bit different today. Um, I'm visiting my dad for a few days uh, and I wasn't going to come on today. Um, but being as I didn't do a live last week, I thought I would. Um, like I say, it's going to be a little bit different because I haven't brought any crafting things with me. Um, so I've got a project to share with you. I'm just going to make sure I'm live on my page. Yeah, we are there. Um, so yeah, you may have noticed that I've been um, playing with the uh, Be Mine Suite this week. Uh, and I have a little project that I've made that I thought I'd share with you today. Something a little bit different. A mini book. So I'll turn you around and we can then have a look. Oh look, there's Dad's kitchen. And yet I haven't got my camera holder or anything. So it's all been done by hand today. Uh, so yeah, I created this little mini book. Uh, really easy to do. Um, it was from a tutorial from, unfortunately, um, the late Cal Summers. Um, those of you who are into mini books may know of Cal. Um, she did a lot of free tutorials and classes online and unfortunately she passed away the other day. Um, but this is from one of her free tutorials um, and decorated to how I wanted to decorate. Um, and it is an accordion book, as you can see. Really simple to make. Um, but very effective. So I just thought I'd go through this with you today. Um, so I've used the Be Mine Suite for this and some other few little bits and pieces. Um, I've stamped and punched out the bees and we've got a little girl, little boy. Well, whatever, but one pink, one blue. Uh, a few little flowers just for added decoration and I've used the new, oh, oh my gosh, I've gone blank. The alphabet die that's all in one and I can't think for the life of me what it is. I will add it to the description later. And then just a few of the flower and hearts, little stickers there. And if we open it up. So on the first page, we have a little pocket with a little photo mat in there. So plenty of room for adding photos in here. And then a little love you, which I've punched out with the bee punch. That makes a nice speech bubble. And a place for a photo with a few little hearts. And then on the next page, we have a vertical pocket with a little photo mat. These are the right size to take a four by six photo and just leave a nice border. Uh, on this page, another photo again. These are four by four, well, the four and an eighth by four and an eighth. Um, so it'll take a nice four by four photo. And we've just stamped and punched out the B on that one and added it on some dimensionals for just added interest. On this page, we have lots of photos space, um, a little three before there and a four by three there. That's a two by three, I apologize. Uh, I flapped that a nice four before. And then on this page, we have the B punch used as a speech bubble again. I would say very simple and I mean these papers are just so simple to use um, they make it so easy and then going through backwards as well 
we have room for photos we have a flap out here and a pocket again and then i've used a die just to cut out the bee mine from there i mean you can decorate these so much more um you can add as much as you like but i like to base decorate uh, get a few bits down and then once i've put photos in um decorate again for some added decorating because you can overlap the photos a bit more than that then uh, on this page we have a faux waterfall but we have a side on uh, and i just stamp some of the little flowers at the stamp set and stems and fussy cut those and stuck those on on that one and then like i say lots of space for photos in here and i just added a strip of paper to the end of each one um and i can cover that if i want to if my photo is larger i can add it over if i add one on there that doesn't cover it all that's okay um, we can leave some blank space or you can decorate round uh, and then just a page with a photo mat there. This is another horizontal pot up pocket with a photo mat in there. And I've die cut out another one of the sentiments and added one of the hearts and flowers embellishments. Uh, this one, I've done a little bee. I love that little face for that bee. That has to be my favourite face for the bee. And I do some little flowers that coordinate fantastically with the flower with paper. And then on this one, I've cut out a couple of the little honey jars from the papers and added those on. And we have another flap with the photo mats in there again, like the other page and the back cover there. So yeah, a really simple book to create um it like i say it is a cal summers um direction taken from her for the actual book um how to put it together and the sizes and then the pockets and everything are put in where i wanted to put them in um in what order just to do lots of different things really show different things that you can do um and then decorated how i wanted to um i do believe you may have noticed that some of the paper like this one isn't from the be mine suite um this is from oh is this one from the sunny days i've, I've used a few I use some from the sunny days and some from the eclectic DSP. Hello, Julie. Looks fabulous. Loving it. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed making this one. Um, like I say, I've used some different paper because I ran out. Um, and I was so close to the end of my papers. And I didn't want, terrible of me, I didn't want to buy a whole new pack. This one, this one's from the sunny days. The free papers from Celebration. But I didn't want, um, didn't want to buy a whole new pack just for those couple of pieces. Um, I'd got paper, but they either wasn't a big enough piece or with the wrong orientation for what I needed. Um after all my other makes that I've made with this suite. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to have to buy a whole pack for this. Um, especially, as many of you will know, um, we're coming to the end of the catalogue soon, just over a month or so. Uh, and I have got so much paper that I need to use up, um, which is one of the reasons that um i've been creating and sharing so many projects with you uh i need to use what i've got um 
So I challenged myself. I knew I wanted to start doing lives. I knew I wanted to start sharing a lot more. So I thought, what better way um, than for each week to highlight something uh, and use my crafty stash, which we all have loads of, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, that's my little album that I really did enjoy creating. Um, I will, once I'm back home, I shall, uh, I'll blog this for you. Um, and then I'll put the link to Carl's tutorial so that you can get the basics of it. I shall put the measurements and that on my blog. So for those who can recreate, you can recreate. But if you need Carl's tutorial, you can go and watch, um, go grab that. And also, I believe, um, there's video classes. Um, so I'll link over to them when I find them. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. A little live today, very short. Um, but I just did not not want to come on again with not being here last week. Um, but next week, um, back to normal. Um, live is planned for next week. You will see a project go out on my blog um, this weekend, I think it is. Um, that ties in with next week's theme. And I shall recreate that on our live on Thursday. Uh, I did say to you that I will be challenging myself a bit more and going to do two projects. So I'll recreate that one and then we'll have a surprise um, project as well. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, sorry again that it's so short and so different, but, you know, life is life and we do what we can. And I shall see you all next week. Bye.